You see this? This is a $400 feature. It's one of the reasons why some people will go out of their way and buy the Apple Watch Series 6. And you're telling me that on WatchOS 7.1, Beta 1, it wasn't available? What? What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. So we have a new update today and if we go into the settings of my Apple Watch here and go to the software update page, you can see that we have WatchOS 7.1 developer beta 2 and for me on my Apple Watch Series 6, this is just the GPS uh, model only. You can see that it comes in at around 347 MBs, which is, you know, it's quite small and it's a good size. And as you can see, there's the progress bar so let's just finish installing it and then we'll see what has changed with this update if we go to see the build number that we have with beta 2 you can see that the build number that we have here is 18r5561 e we have an e at the end which is not the best in terms of stability but it's a bit better compared to what we had on beta 1 also if we look at the storage being used with this update you can see the storage that is being taken up here and before that when i was on the previous version the storage was 2.8 gigs so not much of a change there now let's look at some new features changes and bug fixes that came with this watchOS 7.1 beta 2 and the first one of course i have to say this because if you bought the apple watch series 6 and you wanted to test the blood oxygen sensor it's now working and it's up and running on watchOS 7.1 beta 2 on beta 1 there was an issue with this and now this 400 dollars feature is working the next fix that came with this update has to do with some missing apple watch faces so if you are missing certain watch faces on beta 2 the new apple watch faces are now available and showing as they're supposed to and if you're on beta 1 and you update you will definitely see those missing watch faces the next change that came with this update has to do with uh, apple pay on the apple watch if you use that it's something that I don't use myself but if you do then that has been fixed on watchOS 7.1 beta 2 and Apple cash family is also now available on beta 2 which is a good thing also with this update if you use Siri to send messages it's also something that I don't typically use on the Apple watch so you can actually tell Siri to Who send do you want to send it to Oh, no, no, not yet, Siri, not yet. With Beta 2 also, you can now send audio messages using Siri, just like you saw or heard. And that was a bug that was apparently there on Beta 1. And with Beta 2 of WatchOS 7.1, that has now been addressed. Also, with this update, just like we saw on iOS 14.2 Beta 2, there's a lot of tools going on around here. We have a ton of new emojis. So those emojis that you see, that were introduced on iOS 14.2 beta 2 are now available on the Apple Watch if you are running watchOS 7.1 one beta two so you can always look around you see emojis that have to do with like with bubble tea some different animals that have been added so it's good that you know apple also is keeping up to date just like they're doing with the iphone also for the apple watch which is a good thing also with this update in the background there's a ton of new bug fixes and stability improvements when it comes to watch away 7.1 so if you're having perhaps issues that not many people were facing or you were finding that your watch was a bit laggy like that so this update could fix that with those background stability improvement and there is about two bugs that I managed to see with this update and the first one has to do with the battery itself so sometimes when you connect your Apple watch to the charger it might not charge all the way to like a hundred percent sometimes it stops like at 98 percent it's something that I've already started to experience and so be cautious when you update and keep in mind that this is a bug that is there apparently still on watchOS 7.1 beta 2. Also, if you use, you know, messages and send your current location, the map portion that is sent to the person 
is sometimes being chopped off like certain portions of the map won't show i don't know why that bug is there but apparently it's there on watch 7.1 beta 2. now when it comes to battery performance on my apple watch series 6 i mean my battery health is still on 100 percent this watch is less than a week old i bought it for this type of videos anyway so we'll be testing it out and see over time how it performs but so far i can complain uh i've charged my watch in the morning up to like 98 percent but now it's on like 60 percent which is good so i can't really complain when it comes to battery performance however when it comes to general performance of the apple watch i mean it's okay but i noticed that when you are using the remote control function for the camera using you know controlling your camera using the iphone it's a bit laggy i know it's been like this before but now it seems like you know the delay has sort of increased i don't know if it's just me or if it's my iphone also but that's something that i've noticed on this watch 7.1 beta 2. now whether you should update or not i really feel like if you are already on the beta version of watch 7.1 then you know there's no need to hold back this update comes with a ton of improvements and fixes and i think i'll do a follow-up video in about three days just to let you know how things have been for me on my apple watch series 6 running watch OS 7.1 beta 2 but i, I really think you should update because you know stability improvements and a little bit of you know new fixes even blood oxygen measuring is working now on beta 2 so basically that's about it for me if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe and i know this is like my first apple watch beta update hopefully i can improve on these videos in future starting from now on so that's about it for me guys stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace